Welcome to Accent English Language. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Let's start. Once upon a time, in a small village nestled between rolling hills and deep forests, there lived a boy named Arun. Arun was like most children in his village. He loved playing in the sun, running through the fields, and swimming in the nearby river. But there was one thing he didn't care much for, reading. In the evenings, while other children sat with their grandparents listening to old stories or flipping through picture books, Arun would wander outside, uninterested in the magic that words could create. To him, books were boring, and he felt he could learn everything he needed by living in the world, not by reading about it. One summer, a mysterious old man came to the village. He was a traveler, carrying a tattered bag filled with ancient books. His eyes gleamed with knowledge, and his voice carried the weight of wisdom. Villagers whispered that he had been to far-off lands, seen wonders, and spoken to kings, all of which he had documented in his books. One day, while Arun was playing near the village square, the old man approached him. You look like a curious boy, he said, his voice soft but full of depth. Would you like to hear a story? Arun shrugged. Stories are for the quiet ones. I like adventure. The old man chuckled. Ah, but stories are adventures. They can take you to places you've never dreamed of. Do you know the great waterfall in the next kingdom? Arun's eyes widened. He had heard rumors of a magical waterfall far away, but no one in his village had ever seen it. Is it real? he asked. Very real. And I know exactly where it is, the old man said, pulling a small, dusty book from his bag. It's all in here. Arun frowned. I don't want to read. Tell me instead. The man shook his head. Some journeys, my boy, can only be taken with your own eyes and mind. If you want to truly understand the world, you must learn to read, for books are windows to knowledge, and knowledge is the true adventure. Reluctantly, Arun opened the book. At first, the letters and words were just squiggles on a page, but as he focused, the words began to make sense. He was transported to distant lands, climbing mountains, crossing rivers, and standing before the great waterfall itself. The more he read, the more he discovered, not just about the world, but about himself. As days passed, Arun found himself eagerly waiting for the old man's next visit. The once boring books now became his most treasured companions. He read about ancient kingdoms, brave explorers, and wise scholars. He learned of far-off constellations and the deepest mysteries of the ocean. Soon, Arun realized that reading wasn't just about words on a page. It was about opening doors to new ideas, growing wiser, and seeing the world from many different perspectives. With each book he read, he became more confident, more curious, and more aware of the vast possibilities life offered. Years later, Arun became the village's most well-traveled and respected scholar. He would often tell children, just like the old man had told him, books are not just for the quiet ones, they are for those who seek the greatest adventures. The village changed after that, with children who had once dismissed books now seeking them out with excitement. And Arun? He continued to share the wisdom that books had given him, knowing that reading had opened doors to a world far beyond what he could have ever imagined on his own. And so, 
The village learned that the true importance of reading wasn't just in learning facts or passing the time, but in discovering the endless adventures, wisdom, and wonders that the world and the mind held. Arun's love for reading spread beyond the children of the village. Soon, even the adults who had spent their lives working the land, crafting goods, and running shops began to see the power of books. They marveled at how Arun could speak of lands they had never heard of, ideas they had never considered, and history that had shaped the world in ways they couldn't imagine. One day, the village elder, a wise woman named Mira, called Arun to her home. She had watched him grow from a boy who barely looked at books to a man who was now sought after for his knowledge and wisdom. Arun, she said as he sat before her, you have learned much from reading, but there is one thing I still need to teach you. Mira smiled. You have read, yes. But knowledge is only powerful when it is shared. Books can only change the world if they reach the hearts and minds of others. I want you to teach the village not just to read, but to love reading, to seek out knowledge as you do. Arun nodded thoughtfully. He knew that Mira was right. Though he had gained much from reading, there were still many in the village who feared books or saw them as unnecessary distractions from daily life. They did not yet understand how stories could shape their lives, how knowledge could help them solve problems, or how books could transport them beyond the limitations of their surroundings. That evening, Arun gathered the villagers in the square. He began to tell them about the wonders he had discovered not by traveling, but through books. He described the towering pyramids of far-off deserts, the mysterious creatures of the deep oceans, and the stars that formed patterns in the night sky, which ancient civilizations had studied to understand their place in the universe. But why do we need these stories? One villager asked. We live in a small village. Our lives are simple. What good is reading about places we may never see? Arun smiled, knowing this was his chance to share the greatest lesson he had learned. Books aren't just about places and things. They're about possibilities. They show us what others have done and what we can do too. They teach us to think in new ways, to solve problems, and to understand the world and ourselves better. He picked up a book about farming techniques from another land. Look at this, he said, opening to a page that detailed methods for improving soil. This could help us grow more crops and feed our village through harsh winters. And here, he held up another book, is a story of a healer who found new remedies for illnesses. Reading can help us live better, healthier, and more fulfilling lives. The villagers began to see how the knowledge in books could change their own lives. They realized that reading wasn't just for scholars or for children learning stories. It was for anyone who wanted to improve, to grow, and to understand the world more deeply. Soon, Arun started a small school in the village. He taught people to read, but more importantly, he taught them to love reading. The village library grew as travelers and merchants brought books from distant lands. Villagers began writing their own stories, documenting their history, their traditions, and their wisdom for future generations. One day, years later, the same old man who had first given Arun the book returned to the village. The village had transformed, People of all ages were reading, writing, and sharing knowledge with one another. Arun greeted him with a deep bow of gratitude. You've done well, Arun, the old man said, seeing the joy and wisdom that now filled the village. I owe it all to you, Arun replied. 
You showed me that reading is the beginning of all journeys. It is the path to wisdom, growth, and understanding. The old man smiled. And now you've passed that gift on to others. That is the true power of reading, not just to learn, but to inspire others to seek knowledge for themselves. From that day forward, the village became known as a place of wisdom and learning. Travelers came from distant lands not just to trade, but to exchange ideas, to share stories, and to learn from the village's growing collection of books. Arun's small village, once ordinary, became a beacon of knowledge, all because one boy had learned the true importance of reading and shared it with the world. In the end, the village learned that reading was not just an individual pursuit, but a way to build a stronger, wiser, and more connected community. And Arun's legacy lived on in every book, every story, and every mind that had been touched by the magic of reading. Thank you. Please do not forget to subscribe and share.